theory reasons this is pradesh chaudhary quantum group in this video i'll talk about the motion of a planet around sun in elliptical orbit uh, usually we talk in textbook about motion in circular orbit but here in this video i'll talk about motion in elliptical orbit which is a, a general motion and we'll talk about various parameters like uh, uh, time period of evolution energy angular momentum aerial velocity and velocity at the two very important point like the aphelion and perihelion so let's go ahead so you can see that here a planet of mass m is revolving around sun of mass capital m in elliptical orbit in uh, elliptical orbit the distance of the planet from sun keeps on changing let me choose my coordinate uh, axis uh, like this the origin of coordinate system is at the uh, center of the ellipse and uh, this ellipse is characterized by two terms that is a uh, a and b is the length of the semi major axis and b is the length of semi minor axis major mean the bigger axis and minor mean the smaller axis uh, this ellipse is uh, deviated with respect to circle if a and b become equal that is that becomes a circle so the measure of deviation of an ellipse from circle is called its eccentricity e the equation of this ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and the eccentricity the measure by which the the value by which this ellipse is deviated with respect to circle is given by this relation b is equal to a into square root of 1 minus a square you can see that if we put uh, e is equal to 0 e is equal to 0 Uh, b becomes uh, a mean the length of the semi major axis and the length of the semi minor axis become equal and that becomes a perfect circle so when there is no deviation with respect to circle that is a perfect circle so that is e and the ellipse has a two foci the coordinates of these foci uh, are ae comma 0 and minus ae comma 0 in planetary motion from the kepler first law all planets revolve in a in an elliptical orbit with sun at one of the foci so i have shown sun here um, that should be at focus so the coordinate of the sun is minus ae comma 0 so minus ae comma 0 mean the distance of the sun from the uh, center of the ellipse is a and there are two important positions of the planet in the elliptical orbit one is called the perihelion another is called the aphelion perihelion is the position where the planet is as nearest to the sun and aphelion is the position when the planet is the farthest from the sun and the distance of planet from the sun at perihelion is shown here as rp and the distance of sun from aphelion at aphelion from the sun is ra and you can see from the diagram this rp is equal to a into 1 minus e and uh, ra is equal to a into 1 plus e and the good thing about positions of perihelion and aphelion that a velocity vector at these points are perpendicular to the position vectors these are the only two position in the elliptical orbit where the velocity vector is perpendicular to the radius vector at all other point that is not perpendicular so now Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some conservation laws in planetary motion there are two conservation laws that are followed one thing is the conservation of uh, mechanical energy uh, because obviously this uh, gravitational force is a conservative force so mechanical energy conservation has to be applied and uh, gravitational force is also a central force central force means of at every position of the trajectory the force is always towards the sun so at every position if i apply a torque of the force about the sun so r vector and f vector at 180 degree so its a torque would be zero torque is the rate of change of angular momentum so if torque is zero so angular momentum is conserved so uh, angular momentum the particle revolving around the sun in elliptical orbit is a conserved so and we know that the angular momentum of a particle about a point is m r cross v r is the position vector v is the velocity vector. so if uh, angle between r and p is uh, theta so magnitude of angular momentum is m r v sin theta so its angular momentum is conserved so i can choose any two point to apply the conservation of angular momentum the most suitable points for me are the aphelion and perihelion why uh, because at this point uh, velocity vector and the position vector are perpendicular so magnitude of m r cross v will become simply m r v 
So here, uh, as you can see in this diagram, uh, at perihelion, let's uh, assume that the velocity is Vp and at aphelion velocity is say Va. So conservation of angular momentum at perihelion and aphelion will give me M uh, VPRP is equal to M VARM. So uh, we can write VP by VA is equal to RA by RP. And you can see that R is uh, bigger, R is uh, A into 1 plus E and RP is smaller, uh, A into 1 minus E. So it means that uh, VP is greater and V is smaller. So mean that when the sun is, when the planet is nearest to the sun, its speed is more and when it is farthest from the sun, its speed is smaller. So that is one thing. We'll use that thing also later. And now conservation of mechanical energy. Again, I am choosing these two points P and A to apply the conservation of mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is anyway conserved at all points. So I have to choose any two points. So I am choosing a uh, point of perihelion and aphelion. So writing uh, mechanical energy at perihelion, that is a kinetic half mvp square. Potential is minus G capital M small m divided by Rp. And that is equal to kinetic energy at A half mva square. And potential energy at A, that is a minus G capital M small m divided by Ra. So uh, let's take the all the velocity term on this side and uh, uh, potential energy on this side. So arranging that, so I will get uh, Vp square minus Va square is equal to uh, 2Gm by Rp minus 2Gm by Ra. And from the written that is in box, I can use a Va is equal to uh, v is equal to rp by ra into vp so using that in place of v i am writing uh, vp into rp by ra uh, whole square so uh, we'll get the, that thing so and just arranging that i will get vp square into 1 minus rp square by ra square and on the right hand side we have 2 gm bracket 1 by rp minus 1 by ra and further that will become vp square into va square minus vp square by va square on rhs we have 2 gm ra minus rp divided by ra rp and you can see that from the lhs uh, ra square minus rp square will become ra minus rp into ra plus rp and from both sides ra minus rp will get cancelled so finally i will get expression for the vp square and that would be uh, 2gm divided by Ra plus Rp into Ra by Rp, that is the Vp square. Now let's go to the next page. So we got uh, Vp square is equal to 2gm divided by Ra plus Rp into Ra by Rp. And if I use that thing, uh, Vp by Va is equal to Ra by Rp and to get uh, Va square, so we will get Va square is equal to 2gm divided by Ra plus Rp into Rp by Ra and take the square root and we get two important things. These are very important things. Uh, velocity at perihelion and aphelion. So Vp is the square root of 2gm divided by Ra plus Rp, uh, Ra by Rp and you, we can check in the circular case. The circular motion case, this Ra and Rp that equal to R radius. So if I put all those things, we will get simply a square root of gm by r. In the same way, we can write expression for the v, va velocity at the perihelion and that will become square root of 2 gm divided by r a plus r p into uh, r p by r. So we got the expression for the velocity at perihelion and aphelion. And now, Angular momentum of planet about the sun. We know that the particle is moving the elliptical orbit. Its angular momentum is conserved. So at any point I can write angular momentum. So I am choosing the point perihelion. So at the perihelion, the angular momentum is mvp into rp. Vp we just got. Expression for the, for the vp is square root of 2 gm divided by ra plus rp into ra by rp. So put the expression for the Vp here in the, in the equation for the L, we'll get expression for the angular momentum and that is the m into square root of 2gm, 2 
R A into R P divided by R A plus R P. Uh, whatever is written in the bracket is basically the harmonic mean of the distance of planet from sun at perihelion and aphelion. So basically I can write this as m into square root of gm into r average that r average is the harmonic mean. Now let's talk about the aerial velocity from the Kepler second law uh, aerial velocity of a planet is a constant. What is aerial velocity? Aerial velocity is the uh, as the planet moves around the sun the area swept by the planet about the sun as a its rate is constant that is aerial velocity its rate is constant and the value of aerial velocity da by it is the l by 2m l is the angular momentum and m is the mass of the planet we've just uh, got the expression for the l that was uh, m into square root of gm into uh, harmonic mean of ra and rp that is 2 ra rp divided by ra plus rp putting the value of l in the expression for da by t we'll get uh, uh, 1 by 2 square root of gm into 2 ra rp divided by ra plus rp and now using the uh, mathematical property of this elliptical orbit a is the semi major axis b is semi minor axis r a r a is a, a into 1 plus e and rp is a, a into 1 minus e so putting the value of r a and r p into this expression uh, we'll get 1 by 2 square root of gm 2 ra and rp will become uh, 2a square 1 minus e square and ra plus rp will become 2a so simplify this and we'll get uh, 1 by 2 square root of gm into a into 1 minus e square and now use the fact that b is equal to uh, a into 1 minus e square so b by a is equal to square root of 1 minus e square so 1 minus e square is equal to b square by a square so put it here, we'll get a half square root of gm into a into b square by a square. And finally, uh, we'll get that thing da by dt is equal to b square will come outside the square root. So that will become b by 2 square root of gm by a. So that is the uh, aerial velocity of a planet about the sun. Now time period of revolution of a planet in the elliptical orbit. So we just got the expression for dA by dt and that is this. Uh, because dA by dt is a constant, we know that if the sum rate is a constant, so its instantaneous rate is the average rate. So I can write dA by dt is equal to delta A by delta t. So as planets complete one full revolution, so suppose uh, it has swept area delta A and that delta a will become the area of that ellipse that is a pi a b and in one full revolution time taken is t so this da by dt can be written as a pi a b divided by time period t and put the value of da by dt that is a b by 2 square root of gm by a and on the rhs pi a b by t and just make it a square and arrange so squaring and arranging will get the kepler's third law that is a t square is equal to 4 pi square divided by gm into a cube so that is a t square is proportional to a cube that is a kepler's third law and finally total mechanical energy of a sun planet system so mechanical energy is conserved i can just write mechanical energy at any position so i have again choosing the position of perihelion so mechanical energy at perihelion is ep is equal to half mp square uh, kinetic energy and potential is minus g m small m rp and put the value of vp uh, vp is equal to square root of 2 gm ra plus rp into ra divided by rp putting it here so that will become m by 2 2 g m ra upon rp ra plus rp and minus g m m by rp rearranging rearranging i will get this thing g m m ra by rp ra plus rp minus gmm by rp so we can take a gmm by rp common and and arrange it and simplify to get we can get minus g capital m small m upon ra plus rp and ra plus rp is nothing but the twice of the semi major axis that is 2a so uh, we get finally expression for the mechanical energy as a minus g capital m into small m uh, divided by 2 so we covered a lot of things in the elliptical orbit like the velocity at the perihelion aphelion angular momentum of the planet mechanical energy and time period of revolution
थैंक यू